Hello everyone. It's been a long time since I have posted a video regarding interactive 3D physics uh, simulations. So today I will introduce you to the new set of uh, in the simulations which I have uploaded here uh, under the topic electricity. So first we look into the electrostatic force uh, given by the uh, which we mostly know as the Coulomb's law. Uh, the main feature of this force is the presence of two types of charges, right? Uh, the positive charge as well as the negative charge. And we also know that uh, these two charges are unlike, so they attract each other. And if they are... Uh, the same charges, yeah, if they are uh, like charges, they are negative, negative, they repel each other. So the pos uh, positive attracts, um, unlike charges attract each other and like charges repels. So that was, these are the facts which we know about the electrostatic force. So, and here you can also change the distance between them manually like you can enter the values and also you can use the controls available in this 3d uh, uh, view area which which help you to drag the or change the distance between the two charges so we see that uh, the force is large uh, as the uh, distance increases uh, distance between the two charges increases the force uh, decreases the value of the electrostatic force decreases right and if you uh, if the distance between the force is decreased the electrostatic force the magnitude of the electrostatic force increases so here you see that uh, a positive value of the force shows a repulsive nature of the force repulsive nature of it and if one of one we make it as unlike, right? The pos plus 10. So we have, uh, yeah. What happened? Yeah. One should be negative. Yeah. So here you see that the now the force is attractive in nature. Why? And the negative symbol, uh, negative sign indicates that this force is attractive in nature between the two unlike charges. Um, so, uh, and the next observation is that as you change the distance, the force increases. So that the relationship between the magnitude of the charges and the distance is given by this mathematical equation, which is known as the Coulomb's law. Force is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 into Q2 divided by R square. So this force is directly proportional to Q1, Q2 and inversely proportional to uh, the square of the distance between the, these two. So, and this force, the direction is vectored in nature. So, the force is directed along the line joining these two charges. So, if we change the position between these two um, charges, we see that the forces again align along the line joining these two charges. So, again here you see that yeah, if you change the distance between these two by using these controls, the force always aligns between the line uh, along the line joining these two charges. So that is what is the uh, that is what I have tried to represent in this um, interactive simulations. So and yeah, the unit of force, as we know, is Newton, and here it is uh, expressed in Newton Newton Newton, and. Uh, these yellow arrows are the direct uh, the indicators of the force between the force on the charge. Like if you take this charge Q1, this force on charge, uh, force on charge Q1 is nothing but what is exerted by this Q2. So it is represented as F21. And here the force on this Q2 is nothing but what is exerted by this Q1. So the force on Q2 is nothing but is represented as F12. So these are the representation of the, the uh, vector, vector uh, 
uh, forces F. And this is the magnitude of the force acting between these two charges. The, um, uh, the vector quantities, this F21 and F12 are equal in magnitude, but opposite in directions, with thereby uh, holding the Newton's third law. So that is, I think that is all regarding this uh, interactive Coulomb's law simulations, which is available. These are the features which I would like, which I had planned to introduce you to. And then um, you can, anyway, as I showed you, you can change the magnitude and uh, uh, of the charges as well as the distance, the distance between these two charges, uh, between the and you can also uh, use these controls available here for changing the um, distance in this two, uh, 2D atmosphere, uh, 3D environment. So, and um, next is, next we will try to understand the electric field. Electric field, here we talk about the force. Now, if what is the field around this point charge? That is this point charge Q1. And what is the field around this point charge Q2? Like positive charge as well as negative charge. How is the electric field lines um, is uh, visualized? Try, we try to visualize the electric fields around these charges. So here is the pictorial representation of the electric field for a uh, negative charge. And if you change it to a negative from here, you change it to a positive charge, see how the electric field lines changes. So this is just the pictorial way of representing the electric field lines. So if you have a plane here, here I have a plane. And uh, if I rotate, uh, uh, so if you have a plane, uh, you can uh, see how the field lines process this because as in the next chapter in your textbooks when you go to when you read about electric flux I think this way of under the representation or visualizing would help you to understand the electric field strength and as and also to uh, get a more um, visual understanding of course law. So here you see that the number of lines crossing this plane is more as as if this plane is nearer, right? This is just a, a way of un understanding the electric field lines. But if you move it further, the number of lines which crosses this plane is uh, reduced. So this is for a point charge. But in uh, electric flux, we will actually talk about uniform magnetic field, uh, sorry, uniform electric field, where the lines are parallel in nature. So here, um, so that is regarding, so let's make, move it up this side. And then this is for the negative. So here you see that the field lines are pointed inward, inside, in, in uh, towards the charges, right? And for a, uh, this is for the, for a positive charge. And for a, neg for, um, for a positive charge, uh, it, uh, the electric field lines goes, uh, outwards and uh, if you have two point charge this electric field lines gets uh, can be visualized as being tra transformed like this so this along this plane uh, or the along the line of the uh, Along the line joining the two charges, Q1 and Q2, you have the maximum field lines passing through it, right? So maximum lines of lines passes through these points. So the electric field strength is more at this, at this region. So I think that is, huh. so how do we represent electric field? Electric field is mathematically represented as the electrostatic force divided by the test charge Q for a given charge capital Q. For a given charge capital Q, it is nothing but uh, E is equal to F divided by uh, the test charge Q. And uh, you can also calculate it by this formula, where k is the um, uh, constant of proportionality, which is nothing but 9 into 10 raised to 9, and uh, no, or 1 by 4 pi epsilon. So um, uh, that is regarding the 
Uh, so these are the features which is available here in this electric field uh, simulation, um, uh, interactive simulation uh, available at this website. Visit the website effectual.github.io for more interactive 3D physics simulations. Please contact me if you have any clarification regarding these simulations or for an online demo. Thank you.